Hi viewers, hope you're well. Yes, let me start by introducing myself as Erika Mukisa, aka Mami Maisha or Mami Zion. Uh, once again, I just feel led to talk about the state of our hearts. Many times we go to God, asking God uh, to, you know, bless us, to, you know, supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory. We go with a list of, of uh, requests, you know, prayer, prayer requests. Some of you write to different men of God. You write to pastor, prophet, please pray for me. I want this and this to happen and all that. Yes, it's very good to ask God for things, but that should not be key. It should not be key. Christians, we should learn to prioritize. Let our relationship with God be key because when you are in a relationship with God and the condition of your heart is upright you cannot fail to have whatever you're asking for or whatever you're looking for a good marriage you're trusting God for a husband but are you a marriage material are you ready for marriage when I ask you what kind of qualifications should he have you say he must have a car he must have built he must have this he must have this but you as a person, what do you have? What do you have to, ha to offer this man who has a car, who has a house, who has a business, and all and all and all that? Are you the wife material that this man who has a car and everything that you're praying for is looking for? You're asking God for a wife. Are you a husband material? The qualifications of this wife, she should be nice looking, light skinned, tall, small, slender, what have you and what have you not. Do you have the qualifications to maintain that person? Yes, you get her, she's light skinned, she's tall, she's slender, she's everything, she can have children, she's fertile and all that. But do you have what it takes to take care of that lady? Okay, if God has given you the lady that you're praying for. Will she be the same or will she even be looking better than how she was when you met with her? Or will, she, will her condition go from bad to worse? There are so many people, especially in the Christian circles, who go to God not because they want God, but they go to him because there is something that they are looking for in God. Not everybody who attends church is born again. Actually, not every pastor is born again. That one I will repeat. Not every prophet, not every reverend, not every bishop, not every pastor is born again. If you go to church with that at the back of your mind, you will not be stumbled by anybody. When Christians hear that a man of God has been involved in a scandal, many Christians backslide. Why? It's because they put their faith, they put their hope, they put their salvation in a man. And what does the Bible say about such people? Wow unto them that put their trust in men. You should not trust man. Even me, you should not trust me. You should not trust. You should not trust. You should only trust God. If what I'm saying is not of God, you, you have a right to back out and say, Erica, I don't agree with that. As long as it is, uh, as long as it is not in line with what God says. You have a right to get out because if you're not alert, if you're not awake as a church, the enemy will take advantage of our ignorance. I was talking with my husband about the spirituality, you know, of, of life because we always tell people life is spiritual. He said, yes, if, you're, if your heart is filthy, there's no way you're going to attract these good things that you're praying for to come your way. Even the good things want to go in a good place. So when God is going to bless you, he'll look at the condition of your heart. Many people are humble, not because they are humble. It's because they are broke. It's just a matter of them getting money. And then you'll see them spread their wings and fly over the other people. And that's when you'll see their real character. So right now you're humbling yourself before God. Asking him to provide, to give you whatever you want. Will you be in the same state when you get those things? You see, with the things of God, the more he blesses you, the more humble you become. Because a broken spirit and a contrite heart, God will not despise. 
But some people, God knows that the reason as to why they are disturbing him is because they want a wife, they want children, they want that. He will give them those things and they will never come back. Jesus asks, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? It's possible to gain all those things. Yes, even a Muslim will have them. An unbeliever will have the car. An unbeliever will have the house. An unbeliever will have uh, the children and the wives. Some, some, some even have four wives, you know. But that cannot equate to your success. Success has to come from inside out. You have to prosper spirit, soul, and body as it is written in the Bible. Paul says, I pray for you to prosper spirit, soul, and body. So let your spirit prosper first. Let your soul prosper first. And then these other things will be obvious. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. The man, the husband you're looking for, the wife you're looking for, the houses you're looking for, the financial breakthroughs you're looking for, first work on the condition of your heart. When your heart is upright with God, these other things are automatic. Remember, there is good success. Joshua 1 verse 8 says this book of the law should not depart out of your mouth. You should meditate therein and observe to do according to what is written in that book. And then you will make your way prosperous and you have good success. The good success is going to come from inside out. My husband gave me an example and he's not afraid to talk about it. He said before he gave his life to Christ, he had money, he had friends, he had fame, he had women, he had everything that, you know, the world considers as success. But because his heart was not pure, when he met his crush, the first girlfriend that he loved genuinely, and he had been preparing to go and talk to her, the day he opened his mouth to express himself to the woman, the woman said, Ish, you stink. I'm telling you, she said, no, she didn't say that you stink. She said, you have a bad breath. Mm, yes, and he was using the expensive deodorants, he was brushy, he was bathing, he had the money, and he was a celebrity. <laughs> People, check yourselves, check your life. My husband is okay, he does not smell, he's good, I love him, but we use our lives as an example anyway. So when God, when God is going to bless you, you're, you're telling me, you're telling pastors that I've been praying for this for a long time and I'm not getting it. Check the condition of your heart. Is your heart upright with God? Why are you asking him for that? So that you go to the village and brag and show them that you made it in life? Or are you asking him for resources so that you can be of help to the community? If you're asking him for that, he will bless you. Well, my personal experience i started helping the orphans without before i got children before then before i started helping the orphans i had no child i was longing to carry a child of my own and i could not when i started helping the orphans i i i, I realized that every child is my responsibility whether i have given birth to them or not and I looked out for those that are disadvantaged. I went, I started helping the orphans under our foundation known as World Share Foundation. In fact, if you want to be part of the cause, yeah, you're welcome. You can check the details that are running on the screen and also check the description box. Our website is www.worldshare.com. So I started helping these children. And in the process of helping them, I conceived my first daughter and I conceived my second son. And now I can gladly say I am a parent of a son and a daughter. But my way of seeing children changed. I started embracing the ones I had not given birth to before God gave me my own. Christians, before we blame God for not answering our, our prayers, what is the state of your heart? Are you that kind of Christian that feels bad when you see another Christian prospering? And then you want God to prosper you? Will he really prosper you? 
when you know that our God is a holy God. He says, my hand is not sure that I cannot help, but your sin has hindered me from reaching out to you. Think about it. Go into the word of God. Shake your heart and be blessed. I love you so much. Mama Maisha, a.k.a. Mami Zion. Witchcraft and Spiritual Warfare The awesome third part of the Erica Testimonial Series In this edition, Erica exposes witchcraft and reveals how it can be defeated and overcome in the name of Jesus. Everything you are going through now has an origin, and that origin can be dealt with, but you must know how. Find out in Erica Part 3, Witchcraft and Spiritual Warfare, and overcome every obstacle in Jesus' name.